feels weird being in front of a camera now. But it's snake cleaning day. Today is Sunday. I'll do snake cleaning and I need to switch one of my animals to something bigger. And also switch one of my animals to something smaller. Um, bigger is going to be a male anery uh, bull. And then something smaller is going to be my blue tongue skeet. Um, I have them in a 40 gallon. Not doing so good in that 40 gallon because I can't really keep the humidity or the heat. So switching them to one of these tubs to one of my snake tubs is going to add extra heat. But keep the humidity nice and high because you guys don't know. Blue tongue skinks, specifically mine, the Helma Heron. The humid, the more humid, the better. I, I do like giving them baths. I um, want to clean their cages. Hopefully this one doesn't bite me. But this is one of this is my my male my cow male bull. Uh, it was a rescue along with the big male that I just moved, which is this guy right here. And also this Suriname female. This female is actually the one that bit me last week. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna go ahead and put a video of that. Uh, but this one, that male that I just showed you, and then this one was all rescues, along with all of this uh, setup. So, and this one was also a rescue. This one's a banana male, uh, obviously, because males are only banana. Bananas are only males. This one was also a rescue. It's not deep cleaning, it's just substrate cleaning, really. Um, so that uh, deep cleaning doesn't happen until the beginning of, of the next new month. So. take a little break and give the medication to my dog broken leg dog wanna get loot okay this one right here is my surname female uh the only female boy i have actually and uh, I'm looking for a male. I have a couple people that uh, have males. Um, this one's kind of sketchy, uh, as you can see. But like I mentioned, this is such. For mulch, holy shit. This is cypress mulch that I'm using. Um, I don't have any, so I'm just using paper towel. So, quick, I don't know where my snake hook is, so I just do that. Do that and grab. This is a banana mouth. Uh, he spilled all his water, so that's why it's so humid in there. But eh, he's okay. This one's kind of a butt too, but he'll be fine. Um, also, like giving him baths or uh, yeah, I guess soaks. Because uh, top tub, we have uh, my big G stripe female doesn't seem like it just needs to be cleaned yeah it does so even though there's just a little bit of pee I still clean everything I don't spray it or anything because she is on paper towels so it stays fairly clean with paper towels but this one uh, it's either gonna be paired up to that banana mail that I just showed you or to the cine mail that I just showed you um, very very first snake uh, he is a normal ball python as normal as you could get. Uh, oh yeah, he made a mess. So for him, I am going to rinse it uh, rinse it out. Uh, and ball pythons have been on strike, except for the small one, uh, for the past couple months already. Uh, just picked up a new order of rats, so I might try feeding that, and hopefully they eat. This one right here is my mouth cinnamon. Um, 
Looks like it just needs water. Oh my god, I thought it was gonna bite me. Uh, yeah, he's been on food strike longer than everyone else has, uh, which is weird because the heat and everything's perfectly fine in here. So all I do is refill his water. He really doesn't make a mess. That's why I only have one paper towel instead of two. This one right here, I recently just cleaned. Uh, this is a normal het cow boa. I recently cleaned him, so I just spray him. Uh, that's about it. But yeah, he's really beautiful. One of my good friends gave him to me. And then the last guy that I just mentioned is that uh, Annery male. Um, just already made a mess on that cage. Uh, gotta love snakes. For her, I do use a uh, snake hook. Just to let her know that I'm about to grab her. Uh, she's fairly nice. She could be quite nippy every now and then. But. Got her. Um, and she's got the snake hook. So I'll just put her in with the snake hook. Give her some kind of uh, hanging spot. If she wants not to be in the water. That's completely fine. But. Uh, normally, I just pull all of this out, take the paper towel out, and that's it. This right here is my male Sunfire Reticulated Python. Um, look at that big head. I normally just set him up in this couch. That's kind of how I measure him as well, how much he's grown. Uh, this couch is roughly six feet and a half. So that's basically how I go on my Sunday evenings, nights, mornings, really depends right now. Um, I did do it kind of in the evening. It is 7.13 in the afternoon. Um, reason being, like I mentioned, my dog broke her uh, leg. So that medicine I give her, I normally give it to her at six in the afternoon. That kind of gets her um, sleepy. And um, so I decided to do it today. Um, this behind me is my new reptile room. Uh, it's still not quite done yet. Uh, it's pretty big. They just installed, um, they just painted it and they did also just install an AC. Um, quite done. We're sitting here put some tile. They did paint it already. If you don't, guys don't know, red is kind of my favorite color. Um, Pretty decent size, the lights, the fans, that's the AC. They still have finished putting some stuff to the AC, but other than that, we'll be done. This whole section, um, from that here down, that whole section over here is gonna be for big reptiles. My iguanas, my tegus, the big snakes. But I think I'm gonna just keep the snakes in the tubs. The rest of this section is gonna be for my geckos, dragons, future projects. I do plan on breeding bitter dragons, some geckos and stuff like that. But we do have quite a bit still to go on this. That's why I haven't really done a lot of uh, reptile videos, but that's a little quick update.